Hello, how are you doing? In the context of an LM driven system, have you wondered whether RAG or fine tuning is a better option? Well, if you're not quite sure which is better, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Before we start into these comparisons between the two, what is RAG? Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG for short, combines an LLM with an external data source, normally a vector database, enabling the LLM-driven system to retrieve relevant information in real time to generate more accurate and context-specific responses. This approach avoids having to modify the LLM itself with additional fine-tuning, making the system dynamic, cost-effective, and adaptable to new information. Okay, so what is LLM fine-tuning? Well, LLM fine-tuning involves training a pre-trained LLM on domain-specific data, customizing it to improve performance for specialized task-specific use cases. This process customizes the LLM behavior, but is resource-intensive and results in static knowledge in the LLM until the time it's retrained. Okay, so what are the pros for using RAG? Well, the first is cost effectiveness. There is no need for the LM to be modified, so this approach avoids the computational and financial costs of fine tuning. The second is that the LLM driven system is dynamic and up to date. RAG enables the LLM to access real time or frequently updated data. The third is domain flexibility. RAG systems are effective across various domains without requiring retraining each time. Okay, so what are the pros for fine tuning an LLM? Well, the first is the domain specialization. Fine tuning customizes the LLM to perform well on specific tasks or with domain specific knowledge. The next is improved accuracy. After fine tuning, an LLM becomes inherently better at tasks it's been fine-tuned on without external dependencies. Okay, so what are the cons of using RAG? Well, the first is dependency on a retrieval system, typically a vector database. RAG also relies heavily on the quality and relevance of the data stored in the vector database. The second is latency issues. RAG systems introduce additional latency when they perform real-time retrieval from the vector database, which may introduce additional time in the overall user request response operation. Okay, so about fine tuning, what are the cons of fine tuning? Well, the first is higher costs. Fine tuning requires extensive resources for training, especially for large LLMs. The second is static knowledge. When you fine tune the LLM, the LLM's knowledge is fixed until the next fine tuning session so the LM can adapt to new information without retraining. So in summary, RAG dynamically integrates an LM with an external data source, normally a vector database, enabling real-time retrieval of up-to-date information, making it cost-effective and adaptable, but reliant on an external data source. Alternatively, fine-tuning customizes an LM with domain-specific data for improved accuracy and specialized tasks, but is resource intensive. Additionally, fine tuning results in the LLM knowledge being fixed to the date it was trained on during the fine tuning process. RAG is ideal for scenarios needing flexibility and current up to date information, while fine tuning excels in tasks requiring deep domain specialization. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. But get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.